don't hesitate to interrupt me if you have any problems understanding. That's what we're here for. We're here to communicate, not to make, not to make things difficult. Uh, so maybe starting with you. I want this presentation, short presentation I'll give you now, is called Stories of This City. And a lot of what I'm going to talk about is in terms of stories. Um, I'm a writer, and I think what writers do, almost no matter what they're writing about, whether it's <coughs> religion or politics or art, they're always, the best ones anyway, I think, are always telling stories. I think if there's one of the definitions of the human species is that we are a storytelling species. It's what we do all the time. We, what's Facebook about? It's telling people your stories. You know, it's swapping stories all the time. And I've written in a lot of different areas. I've written a lot about culture, about theatre in particular in Ireland. And I've also written a lot, rightly or wrongly, say wrongly, uh, about your country, about the Basque country. I've been to the Basque country since 1975, the year that Franco died, and I've written two books about it. And even though the first book in particular was a very difficult and painful book, it was about the armed conflict, and particularly about the GAL, the Grupos Antiterroristas de Liberación, and, and ETA. And, uh, but what I tried to do in that book was to let everybody tell their story. To my mind and to my ethics, uh, am I speaking too fast? No. John? You know, I, I disagree with state terrorism. You know, I think the use of terror by the state is a bad thing, including the state terrorists. But they have their stories too, and essentially that's what a writer is looking for. And then in recent years, I've been writing, and I'll talk to you quite a lot, maybe more than you'd like, uh, about the environment. In the, in the last ten years, I've become very interested in the environment and in how we can reverse the damage that we have done to the environment, particularly since the period of industrialization and intensive agriculture. Can we reverse that damage? Autonomia more than independence. And it was quite successful at negotiating with the British. And then the First <coughs> World War happened in 1914. And a very important thing to understand is that hundreds of thousands of young Irish men, and some women, uh, 